Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Though introduced 30 years after helicopters were a part of the U.S. Air Fleet, the CH-47 Chinook became the backbone of numerous major operations carried out by the military. Developed in the 1950s by Boeing Vertel, the CH-47 Chinook took its first flight in 1962 with the intention to provide heavy lift transport capabilities in rugged terrain and combat situations. Initially, the YR-4B was the first U.S. military helicopter to be used in combat during World War II. Designed and manufactured by the Bell Aircraft Corporation, the YR-4B was a small, lightweight helicopter that could carry two passengers and had a top speed of 70 miles per hour. The YR-4B was an influential pioneer in the development of helicopter technology and played a role in establishing the military's use of helicopters for medical evacuation and other purposes. Despite its success in combat, the YR-4B had its limitations. It had a relatively short range and was vulnerable to enemy fire due to its slow speed and lack of armament. After the war, the YR-4B was retired from military service, and there were developments of newer, more advanced helicopters, such as the CH-47 Chinook. The CH-47 Chinook's cockpit and crew play an essential role in its operation. Over the years, the Chinook has undergone several upgrades and modifications to improve its performance and adapt to changing mission requirements. The latest version of the helicopter, the CH-47F, features advanced avionics, enhanced protection systems, and improved lift capabilities. The cockpit is a highly sophisticated system that features advanced avionics and instrumentation. It includes multiple displays that provide real-time situational awareness to the crew and other critical information, such as altitude, airspeed, weather data, radar, engine status, and flight trajectory. The Chinook has also been equipped with advanced inertial navigation systems, including GPS, to improve its navigation capabilities in challenging environments. The Chinook requires a highly skilled crew to operate effectively. The crew typically consists of two pilots sitting side by side in the cockpit, a crew chief who monitors and manages the aircraft systems, and the crew member responsible for managing the cargo. So my experience so far of uh, flying a C-47 for the Army has been amazing. It's a dream come true. Um, nowhere else in the world you can be uh, around the world flying one of these things. Um, I've been stationed in Korea, now Hawaii, and flown in the States. But I get to see these beautiful islands every day on the Army is dime training and, and dropping guys off. Anyone that has an enthusiasm for aviation, this is the way to go. Um, flying these amazing helicopters, um, being able to see the world and do things that you can't do in the civilian is just an opportunity you can't pass up. Additionally, the helicopter's flight control systems have been updated to provide excellent stability and control. Nope. Gonna crank the uh, oil pump up on. Yeah, they're gonna be about out of oil pump in that case. The helicopter's twin turbine engines provide the power and speed required to transport heavy loads in difficult terrain. In addition to its powerful engines, 
Its tandem rotor design allows the helicopter to hover in place, making it ideal for transport and rescue missions. Its engines have been continuously improved over the years, with the latest versions featuring increased power and fuel efficiency. One of the most significant upgrades was the installation of Honeywell T-55 engines. In addition, the CH-47 Chinook is known for its heavy lift capabilities, which allow it to transport large and bulky cargo in various environments. It's capable of lifting up to 28,000 pounds, making it one of the most powerful helicopters in the world. Its versatility is mainly due to its unique tandem rotor design, which provides enhanced lift capabilities and stability. This means it has two rotors mounted on the same axis, and it's powered by two turboshaft engines. This design allows the Chinook to lift and transport a wide variety of cargo, including vehicles, artillery, and even other helicopters. One of the Chinook's most impressive capabilities is its versatile sling load capabilities. The helicopter can use a sling system to lift and transport cargo that is too large or bulky to fit inside the aircraft. This makes it ideal for transporting heavy equipment and supplies in remote or challenging environments. This cargo helicopter is primarily used for transport and utility missions, but it also has limited capabilities as a gunship. One of the most notable weapon systems on the Chinook is the M134 minigun, a six-barrel rotary machine gun that can fire up to 4,000 rounds per minute. The minigun is typically mounted on the helicopter's ramp, providing the crew a clear view of the ground. The CH-47 Chinook's unique design allows it to perform a special technique called pinnacle landing to land on high altitude terrain. Its tandem rotor design provides increased lift and stability, making it ideal for pinnacle landings in mountainous and other challenging environments. By balancing on its two rear wheels, the Chinook can safely land on narrow ridges or rocky outcroppings with limited space for the helicopter to touch down. The pinnacle landing maneuver requires careful coordination between the pilot and the crew as well as advanced training and experience. The pilot must carefully control the helicopter's descent to ensure it lands safely on its two rear wheels. At the same time, the crew monitors the helicopter's position and communicates with the pilot to ensure a successful landing. Pinnacle landings are often used in military operations, such as search and rescue missions or troop transport in remote areas. The Chinook's ability to perform pinnacle landings has made it a valuable tool in various challenging environments, including the mountains of Afghanistan and the jungles of South America. The CH-47 Chinook can perform a wide range of military operations, including airborne jumps and helo casting. Airborne jumps are a technique military forces use to deploy troops quickly and efficiently into a combat zone. 
Airborne jumps involve paratroopers jumping out of the helicopter while in flight. The Chinook can carry up to 33 fully equipped soldiers, making it an ideal platform for airborne operations. It transports paratroopers to a suitable altitude, up to several thousand feet above the ground. The paratroopers then jump out of the helicopter's side doors using static line or free fall techniques. Helo casting is another technique that the Chinook can perform. This involves the helicopter hovering close to the water surface while soldiers jump out of the helicopter and into the water. This technique is often used in military operations to rapidly insert troops into bodies of water or areas where the terrain is challenging to navigate on foot. The Chinook's ability to maintain a stable hover, even in rough water or windy conditions, makes it an ideal platform for helo casting operations. Both airborne jumps and helo casting require careful coordination and training between the pilot and the crew. The pilot must maintain precise control over the helicopter's speed and altitude while the crew monitors the soldiers and ensures that they are able to jump safely. One of the key advantages of the Chinook is its ability to perform extractions in remote or dangerous locations. This involves using the helicopter's powerful winch system to lift people or equipment to safety. Indeed, the Chinook can also carry up to 50 passengers, making it ideal for transporting large groups of people. Another essential role of the Chinook is in search and rescue missions. It can be used to locate and extract people stranded or injured in remote or difficult to reach locations. This is particularly useful in mountainous terrain, where hikers or climbers may become stranded or injured. To perform a rescue mission in the mountains, the Chinook crew must carefully coordinate with the ground teams to locate the stranded or injured hiker. The helicopter must then navigate the challenging terrain, including high altitudes, strong winds, and narrow ridges or valleys. Once the helicopter has reached the ground, the crew will use the winch system to lift the person to safety and transport them to a medical facility. This is something we brief before every operational mission is what do we do in case of uh, we have to go down somewhere. We don't usually actually do it, uh, so this is actually pretty cool. So it's not just talking about it, we actually did it. We used our all of our recovery uh, techniques and we were able to get rescued and come back with everybody safe. It's great to be out in a place where we can actually do those things because our normal training area is pretty restrictive, uh, small, where we can do certain things and what we can do, but Hohenfels is one of those places where we can pretty much do, you know, within safe limits, whatever we want to do. So it's pretty good training. Indeed. CH-47 Chinook is a remarkable helicopter, and it's revolutionized military and civilian aviation since its introduction in the 1960s. It has played a critical role in aviation for over half a century, and its versatility, power, and advanced upgrades will continue to make it a vital tool for aviation in the years to come. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.